welcome back to Yes TV. With the end of Term 3 fast approaching, we thought we'd have a chat about all the important things leading in to the end of Term 3. So I'm here with Colin, Dr Yes, who can tell us all about those things. So I know that it's a really busy time for students right now, not just with Yes, but in their school life. What are things that Yes companies should be doing right now? Right now the focus should be on getting task one and two in. Um, so some teams will have already put them in and have had to resubmit, so it's important that they check with their regional coordinators now to make sure that those marks have been captured. And so there's one more to go, isn't there? Yeah, there's the task three, which is, is on sales. So that's due on the 28th of September. And so we, that's another area that students should be focusing on getting ready for that. And the criteria for that is on page 15 of the student handbook. So it's really good time for the students to get on top of that. And those are each worth 10 points, right? Yeah, all three tasks are worth 10 points and they sit within challenge one. And so all teams have to complete challenge one to be eligible for the micro credential at the end of the year. And so that brings us to the annual review. That's the big one, isn't it? That's right. So the annual review is also due on the 28th uh, as well at 9 a.m. And just to emphasize that deadline, because there's a lot of processing that goes on for the rest of that day. So the annual review is due on that date and it's worth 30 points. And can you tell me a bit about the structure of the annual review? Absolutely. So it can be 10 pages long and that's not including the title page. Anything beyond that is not going to be marked. So teams can disadvantage themselves if they go beyond that, those 10 pages. The, the structure of the review itself is an executive summary, which is uh, one page long. Then there's uh, work on the company, what you've done, and then a financial report as well. So as long as those three sections are covered off and all of that's within the marking criteria, which the teachers and the regional coordinators have, then that's, that's fine. So the annual review is worth 30 points and combined with the marks from task three and the business pitch from term two, what do these marks count for? So all three challenges will add up to 90 points. So what will happen is the regional coordinator will look at all of the teams in that region, across those 90 points and select the top teams to go on to the regional final. So all of that information is with your regional coordinator. Some of the larger regions will invite more teams to the final to pitch. Some of the smaller regions will have fewer teams. So essentially the regional final will be the opportunity to pick up those last 10 points to make 100 points. So what actually happens at the regional final? So the regional final will be slightly different in each region, but the idea is that the top teams get a chance to pick up those last 10 points by pitching off against each other. Therefore, the winner, the regional champion, will be uh, declared on that night. And so they then head to nationals, right? That's right. So the regional champions, uh, there'll be 21 of them, will be selected to come to Wellington in December uh, to pitch off against each other to be the national champion. Great. So can you please tell me a bit about the National Excellence Award and how students can apply for those? Absolutely. So the National Excellence Awards, there's 10 company ones and one individual one. And what happens is that as the students submit their annual review, they get the chance to choose which National Excellence Awards that they want to apply for as well. So I hear there's some new awards. Yes, yeah, right. There's two new awards this year. There's the Gallagher Award for Smart Technology and the Sir James Fletcher Award for the Most Inspiring Teacher. And so how do students apply for those? So the Smart Technology Award is just the same as all the other National Excellence Awards. So when the annual review is being submitted, students can select that. But at the bottom of that form, there's also the opportunity for students to nominate their teacher for the Most Inspiring Teacher Award. And they can tick that and also write just a little bit about their teacher and why they're nominating them. Great. Thanks for joining us, Colin. So we know how busy you are leading into the end of Term 3 with your exams and deadlines. Talk to your regional coordinators and your teachers for more details if you get stuck. Thanks for joining us on YesTV. See you next time.